Roblox Guys, Section H Gaming here, bringing you another Roblox Country Tycoon 3 playthrough. Uh, so we're in part 7 of the series. Uh, our current map we're on is the Green Lake. Uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Alright, let's see. Broom Lake, the CIA has tapped you to build an experimental high-tech park on the grounds of the formerly top-secret Broom Lake. You prove that you know your way around spooks, but don't let these spooks down or you might get uh, reassigned. Um, so this is a pretty cool map, it looks like. Uh, kind of space-age, kind of high-tech stuff, maybe Area 51-like. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we've got. Um... Minimum park value, 15000 Seems easy. Uh, VIP Clint Bushton arrives 3rd of May. Um, breakdown tolerant tie. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like on this one, um, probably, if I had to guess, most of our rides, um, if we haven't, we actually don't have any rides. So that way, I don't know what the issue with the breakdown policy is. Um, maybe he just doesn't like rides that break down. Uh, that's interesting, but uh, let's see where we can build here. Um, that's pretty cool. Got some some stuff built into it. Kind of kind of has a Star Wars feel to it. Um, all right, so do we have anything in here? Uh, we have maybe a couple of stands. We have a little information stand, umbrella stand, uh, but not much else. So let's go ahead and get over here. Maybe get some rides going. Um, we've got about nine thousand, close to ten thousand dollars. So let's go ahead and put in the uh, couple rides over here. Let's do the laser battle. Uh, actually, let's see here. Yeah, I kind of didn't want to build that up on this, but what I'll do is I will go here. And uh, you think I'd remember how to do this, but. Um, let me find the construction tab on here. Oh, it's, it's... Can I see it? Um, here we go. Let's go ahead and move the entrance uh, over here instead, so that way we can we can build the little ramp down, and then um, we'll have an easier time there. So let's do the sci-fi uh, walkway. Have to start it there. We'll go down. We'll go around here a couple times. Come out here to where the exit will come down. Um, looks like we're using the steel again like we did in the last one. Let's go ahead and build that downwards. We've got this here. Oh, no. That's not what we wanted. Uh, yeah, some of the some of the path dragging is kind of weird on this game. Um, which is a little bit annoying, but that's just part of it. This game is a little bit older. Uh, doesn't have the same path in as some of the newer games do. Let's see here. The flying saucer ride is an option. Um, swing and inverter ship sounds pretty pretty cool for this. Uh, let's go ahead and put this um, maybe kind of over here. Uh, let's see here. We can build that here. We can build the exit kind of right here. Let's see. Go ahead and build this out. Put that right there. Um, let's see, we'll build the these, these steel looking side by path again. Open that up. So we've got two rides going. Uh, I was kind of wanting to fit three right here. I'm not sure if I can fit one here or not, but we'll try. Um, let's see. Flying saucer ride that kind of fits in, I think. Um, probably say this is zero G train horn. Let's see how, let's see the individual size of these just to see what will kind of fit a little bit better here. Um, I, I think flying, I think flying saucer is going to fit all right. We can dump the exit right there and uh, build a little bit of a pathway right here, and um, I think that's good. It does kind of limit my ability to come this way, but we can we can definitely come off this path and come down that way. So we've got that set up. Uh, let's go ahead and since the breakdown tolerance is high, 
Um, let's go ahead and hire some some staff. Uh, we have one staff here, the uh, park inspector. Let's go ahead and hire two janitors. Um, let's see, I think one mechanic for now will probably go to. Uh, let's see here, there's a way to right here reliability 99 percent let's go ahead and put that on every 10 minutes because they said reliability breakdown i'm not sure if there's something that pops up um that would cause things to break down if there's some sort of event or something um so that way we will be able to figure that out uh, i think my volume made it be down just a little bit so yeah we can go ahead and turn that up um so you guys can maybe hear it a little bit i'm not sure really how that interfaces but i think that should be fine uh, so you can at least hear the clicking of everything before everything starts. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, roller coasters, perhaps. Yeah, maybe we turn that down just a little bit. I apologize for that again. Uh, like I said, I'm just kind of getting used to this. Um, so, so we can't go to monorail, but I really don't have the cash to do that. Uh, let's see if we can't find a cheap, a cheap coaster here. Um, two designs available. I feel like these are going to be expensive. Uh, yeah, 22000 15000 Can't afford that, unfortunately. Um, let's see what else is kind of futuristic. Maybe this uh, facelift, $15,000. Uh, can't fear slinger, unfortunately, cannot do that. Um, let's see, air power coaster. Not many of these are that cheap, uh, unfortunately. Um, got the hammer. 12,000. We have this one that is uh, 5,000. Uh, lava, let's see what lava launch looks like and, and how big it is and everything, if we can fit it. Um, lava launch looks really terrifying, but maybe guests will like that. I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't know if I'd get on lava launch, but I think that lava launch definitely fits with the park um, kind of mantra of it kind of being spacey. So, let's see here if I can build this on flat ground. Um, I would like to, but don't know. I think the entrance there is on flat ground. There, it's raised up. I'm trying to get as close to the pathway as possible because I think that's that kind of adds a little bit of a cool factor uh, being that close to a ride like this. So, the pathway is built up a little bit. I'm going to build the pathway down. Um, go ahead and use our typical, typical stuff here. Um, I build it into this wall. I think probably I want to level out here. Um, build over one and then build down again. Uh, no, that's actually a terrible mistake. Uh, all right, now we can. I think we can build down. Um, there we go. So we'll have to build down here, obviously. Uh, or I can just screw that up. That's fine too. Uh, like I said, the the pathing is a little bit. Keep wanting to drag in them. I think I've learned my lesson here, but let's go ahead and make this uh, not a huge line. I just I don't know how many people are going to ride this, but we might have some. Um, we might have some. Oh, no, I do not want to delete that. It's uh, probably the park there, I'd say. Got about $1,300 left. Let's make sure. I, that's what I was just about to say. I didn't know if I had to open the flying saucer ride. Uh, so reliability is already down on that to 97% on both these. I don't know... I should have probably paid more attention to how quickly reliability goes down. Um, but I think that's definitely something we need to keep an eye on. Uh, let's now go for some food and drinks. Uh, let's go ahead and build it over here. Uh, let's get we can we can definitely build some over here. We might build some on the other side too if we expand over there. Uh, Rocket Boost Cantina. Uh, definitely sounds cool for this area. Let's go ahead and put that right there. Uh, kind of goes with our theme of the roller coaster here and, and some of the other stuff. Got a cool light show on that. Let's see. We got cookies and hot dogs. Uh, I mean, I think hot dogs may be more of a meal. Uh, maybe not a great uh, nutritional value, but we are playing roller coaster talking, so that's just part of it. Um, Let's see, we got novelty t-shirts. I think Space Hats might be the winner here for uh, for stuff people might want to buy. Let's go ahead and put that right here. Across from it, go ahead and put that. 
let's see. Also probably need some bathrooms per usual. We'll put that right here just in case anybody kind of needs to be sick or anything. Um, access by two sides, so that makes it a little bit more efficient. And uh, I think, let's check, go ahead and check our park value. Uh, park value, uh, 9,000. So, wow, we're, we're really out of money. Um, and that is definitely going to be an issue. Uh, we're out of money. And I'm running a deficit. Uh, I think that might have to do with the ride construction of April. I think if we were not running a deficit, we would be okay. I mean, if, without that ride construction, I uh, got the ride running costs of landscaping, uh, shop stock, which we put those in. Staff wages, 37.75, not that bad. Loan interest, would like to pay that down a little bit. Um, but we'll just kind of have to see. Can we charge park admission? Um, we can. These parks get a lot easier when you can charge admission because each one of these people coming in uh, pays you five dollars, which you know five dollars isn't a lot of money. Uh, but when you can put two to three hundred people in the park, you know it really really adds up when you can kind of get them in here and and do that. I don't think the five dollars will turn anybody away either. Um, usually on these parks, you can get away with maybe fifteen to twenty dollars uh, on some of the bigger campaigns. I mean, you can you can definitely do a lot more. Um, let's see here, the rocket launch. Uh, we have people getting on for We actually had some people riding on that. Uh, let's see. Let's see here. Sorry, my my recording thing down here is kind of in the way. Um, how do we? Let's see, can we can we ride this? Is that possible? Yeah, okay, press the inner coaster can. See how scary this is. Uh, I've got the noise here and everything going. Hey, hey. Sounded like someone there was definitely excited for this ride. Um, we've got the cool laser thing over here too, which is pretty nice. Uh, we can arrange to the rear. Uh, previous camera, change all this stuff around. Uh, I got the people up here. We'll see how close that is. Uh, I'm not sure what the wait time is to start this, but I imagine it's got to be pretty close to going. Um, don't want to make anybody too, too more bust in here waiting, but I think the, uh, their ride will be worth it for sure. Um, got the nice stars in the back. Here we go. If you guys would, uh, let's go ahead and leave Coaster Cave and see what else is going on. Uh, so our money has gone up a little bit. That means we are making some money. Uh, yeah, it looks like we've reduced the deficit for this month. Um, and we are just about two-thirds of the way through the month. So hopefully by next month, uh, we'll earn some money. And that way we can keep kind of going. I'm going to go ahead and pop up to speed two here. Uh just so we're not waiting forever for me to get some income back to increase our park value. Our park value is 37, so we've already met that. Um, Clint Bushton, uh, we've seen old Clint Bushton before. Um, he's coming back May 3rd, breakdown tolerance high. I don't know whether that means he wants it to break down. I don't know why that would be a thing, so I'm, I'm assuming it's going to mean he... Uh, he doesn't want any rides to break down while he's here, or he will leave us a negative review. <coughs> but we'll have to see. Uh, got some flying saucer action here. We can go ahead. And, I don't know. Can we hop on the uh, Space Invader ride? I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what it is, but um, can we can we go inside the Space Invader ride? I don't think that's. I don't think that's the thing. Ooh, on the swinging ship here. Let's get kind of wild. Uh, just getting that slowed down. Uh, pretty wild enough, though. It's got some lights and stuff on it, so 
We've got this rod. Actually, this rod is doing quite well. Um, I was surprised. I thought the uh, I thought the danger factor, or whatever it's called, was a little uh, the excitement rating and tossing rating may have been a little bit too high for some people. I think this rod's at least worth two dollars. Um, let's see. We've got the VIP has arrived. Uh, we can kind of see what he's just doing. Uh, we can go ahead and up this a little bit, dollar fifty maybe. Uh, maybe a dollar twenty. You see, the projected income per hour does go up quite a bit, um, just by raising that twenty cents. So if we, if we go back down to one, we're at five twelve. Uh, we go up twenty cents, we're at six fourteen. So that really does make a difference um, income wise over the term of an hour. Um, so that's just kind of an easy, easy way to get a little bit of an increase of income um, without making people shy away from the rides. You know, I've, I've never been one to try to charge. Uh, Ten dollars or something for a ride. I just, I, I just think that does turn away some people. Um, and you can either have a ton of people ride it, or a few people ride it, and pay a lot of money. I, I think the goal of roller coaster tycoon is to get as many people on your rides as possible because it's a theme park. So um, I'm not a roller coaster tycoon economist um, by any means. So I'm sure there's a lot smarter people that know how to kind of game the system and everything to get it just right. But I, I, you won't see that from me. Uh, at least right now, maybe if, if people like these playthroughs and stuff, I'll dive a little bit more into it, check out some different strategies and things. But um, let's see here. We also have the elevator. Um, never, I don't know if I've ever built an elevator in, in uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon. I don't really know how it works, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to shy away from that for now. I don't really think we need an elevator. Um, at the moment, I don't think Roller Coaster Tycoon has um, any any issues with things like that. So let's check our park rating at 727. Uh, happy guests plus 500, number of guests plus 21, litter and vomit. Um, that's a little high. I'm not sure. Uh, not sure really why. Let's go ahead and train this guy. He says he's unhappy. Um, let's see. Probably need to uh, value an animal's enclosure. Oh, that's a park inspector. Janitor, I'm sorry. Janitor 1 is unhappy. Let's go to him. We can go ahead and train him a little bit. Uh, give him a little bit of a, a boost there. Um, let's see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assign this janitor over... This area, I think this is where probably a lot of the vomit and everything's kind of happening. Uh, go ahead and get that one little bit there. Go ahead and get that. Uh, maybe out here, you don't want to make your, you don't want to do half the park with one janitor because it will keep them just cleaning half the area, but it does um, still cause an issue um, for them to actually reliably keep that um, kept up. And we've already got a. We've already got a little breakdown here, first of the game. Um, put some trash cans out, and that's kind of a boring part of the game. And I, I sometimes forget to do that, but when you see the kind of the litter building up, you know, if nobody has a trash can, I mean, they're getting a litter. That's just kind of um, the sad state of, of things. Um, but on a game like this, I mean, I completely understand. See, the VIP is leaving the park. He wants to get home. I hope he liked it. I mean, with that ride breaking down, I don't know if he was on it or not. Uh, but we will see if it awards it to us or not. But we've already got Lava Launch fixed back up. 91% um, reliable. Uh, I think on something like this, that's probably not that big of a deal. Or not that bad. We got 86% uh, on that one. We've got 91 on the uh, ship. Laser Battle 92. Um, so let's see, did we get, did he like it? Uh, we don't know yet. Uh, here he goes. Clint Bush didn't leave in the park, trying to click on him, but, um, let's see here. Carried items, nothing. Um, nausea, time in park, autograph tolerance, medium. Um, preferred ride, medium. So, I think he probably liked it. Uh, he's going home. Let's see if it tells how much money he has. Coming through. Here's my phone number two. Coming through. I want to go home. VIP has left the park. Um, got it. Perfect. All right.
Right, so this has been, I think, Broom Lake was the name of this one. Uh, thank you so much uh, for people watching this video. Uh, consider leaving a comment, like, or subscribe uh, if you want to see more content like this in the future. I'm probably going to play some other games too as well uh, coming soon. Uh, I'm just recording these videos when I have time. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and save it here. And thank you so much. And actually, Halloween. Uh, happy Halloween and since that's today. Um, let's see here. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.